Good morning, students. Okay, good morning. Are you really happy in this morning? So, okay, so we have to start a new lesson in this beautiful morning, which is actually written by the Latin American writer, and the real Garcia Marcos. Who is the author? The real Garcia Marcos. Okay, good. So, we have to return the title. So, what is the title of the chapter? Ancient from the same. So, what is the name of the Gabriel Darshan Marcos? Okay. Are you familiar with any other uh, stories in our history related to Shipwreck? Okay, good. Take a hand. It is a good answer. So, uh, everybody is familiar with the story of the Titanic, the 1997 movie. So, we, we have to see some of the pictures of the, uh, that from the pool. This is one of the main functions of, uh, the, of the Titan in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So, we have seen that uh, the ship was actually seen a number of people uh, square it into the sea. So, under the image, uh, it also shows that the ship was actually halfway seen in the sea. There is only a few part of the ship was actually above the sea. So, it, uh, it was one of the tragic incidents in our history. Do you know how much people really lost their life in the middle of that ship or in the Atlantic Ocean? No, okay, it's okay. Nearly 1,500 people lost their lives. So, we have to you know, uh, learn about the order. That is Gabriel Garcia Marcos. Gabriel Garcia Marcos is a Latin American writer. This we have to see. He was born in Colombia, Nobel Prize winner for the Prize in 1982. His writing is known for large figures. So he was a Latin American writer, which is known for large figures. Every famous Latin American writer was uh, well known for his writing style. Uh, it is uh, anyone from we have to take, uh, they have their own writing style to portray the images and depicts uh, 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 an idea to the readers. So, the day of the Marcos is more for magic readers. So, we have to enter into the first part, that is from the text. My first impression was that I was utterly alone in the middle of the ocean. So, it is a narration. Uh, from this first sentence, do you familiar with what kind of narration actually the narrative uh, takes place in this? Yes, good. It is first person narrative. My first impression was that I was utterly alone in the middle of the ocean. So the narrative was actually alone in the ocean. The ship climbed into the Andes and disappeared. So he says that the ship was actually climbed uh, uh, into the abyss and disappeared. So there was no evidence there was a shipwreck or there is a ship in that sea. Only the narrator says that the ship was actually there and the ship was actually seen. If it had no idea what was happening, so the narrator in the story has no idea what is happening in the story. There were three main problems in the story. The main problems and first person narrator in the story is Melas. A courageous and a young man who is actually in the middle of this. And nearly his two friends, Castillo and Gaiden, two of his most uh, lower friends, were actually in the, in the middle of the sea, singing along with him. It took hold of one of the bobbling credits. So the small beings in the middle of the sea was actually taking uh, the life force that is uh, nearly his, uh, around his hands. 
you just prepare something by the need. And, uh, and stupidity began to contemplate the sea. So the narrator was actually uh, contemplate the sea because uh, the life saving boat was actually taken away from him by the sea waves or winds. It was uh, perfectly a uh, clear day. So the narrator says that uh, there is no storm or heavy winds in the sea. So what do you think that the possibility is that she was singing in the middle of the sea? Titanic was singing by hitting an iceberg. So whether you think that the heavy storm will come and the ship will sink? Okay, good. Uh, there is possibilities for other ways to sing a ship. So he says that it was perfectly clear there, except for the choppy waves produced by the wind. So the, uh, it was a perfectly clear day and uh, the choppy waves produced by the wind. So there was no, no evidence of a ship by action. Similarly, there was uh, no harsh weather in the middle of the sea. What is not waves produced by the sea in the middle of the ocean? And the cargo was scattered across the surface. So the ship was actually sink and there was uh, no other passengers in the middle of the sea. He was uh, actually looking for other, others to see. But he cannot find any other person in the middle of the sea. So there is some cargo in the middle of the sea which was also scattered across the sea. So through his, this first person narrative, the other person has a beautiful image which we can create uh, in our own mind about what is happening in the middle of the sea. There was no evidence of a shipwreck. So the narrative says that there was no evidence of a real shipwreck in the middle of the sea. So today we are uh, actually ending our mission from by studying the first paragraph. So the other uh, section will be taken in the next class. So 